So a service technician normally knows that type of work well for the very common cars. The more seldom a car is coming, the more information he needs. And this is a simple application where we connect a device inside of a workshop to the service technician at a place where he needs to execute this. Well, and I will guide you why we need much, much more than just this simple information. So what are the challenges a service technician currently has in a workshop? So the, their environment is completely changing. We have much more intelligent systems in the car. ADAS stands for Adaptive Driver system, Systems, and everybody knows this. I have a lane assistant, I have um, semi-automatic driving, I have cameras forward, backward. There's really complex uh, pieces inside. He has automated and self-driving, telematics, electrical engines, but from everybody talks about electrical engines, and, and this is a, a great thing, but it's a challenge for service technicians. They have to deal with a totally different technology to repair it, more dangerous, etc. but they need support with this. Then um, they have different tools to deal with this. So when ADAS is a calibration tool, so I, your, your car doesn't know from itself how it recognizes the car, uh, the, the street. You need to calibrate your sensors. You need to do something with it. Service technician has to deal with these complex tools or remote diagnostic. I get permanently information from the car where I can do a remote diagnostic. Then multi-data sources. In the past, he had the vehicle and his service information, but now he gets telematics. The customer can influence many, many more information and tools providing information while I'm repairing something. So I need to aggregate many, many more things than just the, the little things we had in the past. Missing experience, and I think that's one of the, the biggest challenges in the workshops. They don't have experience because the new te technicians, they don't want to learn and keep that knowledge. They want to know it instantly and don't keep it for a longer time. The generation Y, and, and this is, Digital natives, they expect even the information uh, like that. New markets with different needs. So the more you go to developing markets, the higher the need is to support a technician getting him information, uh, how to repair a car, how to deal with these complex objects. Increased training needs due to very short cycles of vehicles. More and more vehicles coming in shorter time, they get rolled out and you need to train your people with it. There's a long time right now between the training and when you see the car the first time in the workshop or a product in general. And I'm talking quite a lot about automotive and cars. You can substitute this pretty much with any product and you will have similar situations, similar challenges with those. Then more communication with the customer. Um, a technician or workshop has to explain to the customer why they're doing a certain repair what are the costs they have done, where they are going to, what they have done at the end, and, and et cetera. And this is a totally different requirement. Nobody had some, some OEs make their service technician doing this. Others have the service advisor, dedicated person. So all of this is an environment a service technician has to live with. And it's increasing more complex than ever before. Look, but a solution to this is a concept called connected service. So when you remember the first thing we had was connecting just a piece of wheel alignment to the service technician's tablet and show a live view of data values, etc. But there's much, much more. I can do an entrance check. So car is coming, I superimpose information on it. Visualization of test results, diagnostic, repair, um, custom presentation at the end, what I have done, and marketing upselling. Some of them I have explained in more detail that you get. It's like diagnostic live data. So here it's now the view from the outside. I can show now a customer, somebody else, what are the values for this wheel in front. So this is, if you wonder, this is a Bosch bubble car, it's our generic car, so we didn't use anyone. And you see here live data from the wheel alignment. And, and you walk around with your customer or with your service technician and you bespoke now the different things you have to do because you see live what is okay or what is not okay. You, um, do a guided repair. So I no longer do just uh, a piece of, or I have to read a manual on paper or digital, most 
companies have digital papers right now, but I ha don't have to transfer it anymore. So you superimpose here the repair of a dashboard, a wire harness inside of it, step by step by step, and connecting with all the information around your workshop at that time. You do a customer explanation. You show him live how his park sensor is working. So this is one thing. Why would you need to repair that park sensor? You can show him all the sensors behaving now this way. The sensor is not seeing anything anymore. You can use this for training, for upselling, for whatever. But it's a way to communicate uh, with the customer my results. I can explain or upsell how, uh, what other tools you need here, screen wipers. This is a coincidence, we're selling screen wipers, but it's a pure coincidence. Our uh, guys just developed it, and you can show, oh, these are the screen wipers, this is their result, how they are doing this. So we went through all of the different cases a service technician has to deal with, and we found for all of them individual solutions. But this is not enough, because right now we would have a tablet, and, and actually we would still have individual tools in the workshop outside. And, and a typical case in a workshop is a headlight tester, a wheel aligner, a diagnostic system, etc. So this overarching idea right now is to have glasses, in this case a HoloLens. And the HoloLens is covering any type of information in it. So you start on the upper uh, right, the left here, um, with communication with your customer. So you have a live video stream with your customer. Think in the future when your car autonomously drives into the workshop. You still need customer interaction. So the first thing you're doing, you have your glasses and you communicate with the customer. You show the test results. And this is now the first time where we go beyond just showing simple information from a wheel aligner. We really show all of the devices inside of the glasses. So I would have a workshop where the individual tools inside of the workshop don't have a display anymore. Why would they need one? I could get everything aggregated into my glasses in the field of view of a service technician. So suddenly I can make all of the things, the complexity we described before, going away. I have everything together. I do diagnostic, I show the repair, um, I show accessories, like different wheels, different rims, different uh, um, a roof, a top box, um, etc. But this is the final goal, having glasses being the central interface of every information you need in the workshop. It's the only way to solve the problem of technicians not being able to repair the cars with their current knowledge or with their current experience. And I had yesterday a presentation where I also mentioned um, a study we did, where we really looked in our own workshops. And very often I hear the argument, hey, young people would love to do this, but the older, the more experienced they are, the more experienced instead of older, the, the less they would benefit from it. And this is not true. They would benefit then when they reach the end of their knowledge, of their experience, when there's a new technology coming, when there's a new vehicle coming. They love to use this. All of our studies show this doesn't matter how old people are and how much experience they have. They see they can benefit from this to gain knowledge when they reach their end of experience. Going to the next one. So in a, in a summary, augmented reality for connected workshops, we really we need to keep track with the progress because every, all the devices, everything is improving, but not just AR devices, everything in the workshop. For us, we really see AR being the most efficient way to transport information, technicians to trainees, sales, end user, by superimposing the information from a different devices at any step in this connected workshop. What problems did we address uh, throughout the things? We increasing complexity of the vehicles, lower, uh, lower um, uh, training or lower uh, skilled resources. High cost in training and retraining. When I said at the beginning you have this um, delay between product training and when the product is the first time in the market. Digital nav natives will be the next generation and nobody is addressing at the moment their needs. Everything is still in the way it was before I train a service technician. Increased data sources. So I have a lot of data coming from different sources and I need to find a way to harmonize them. But how is AR supporting this? We aggregate various information. So AR is an aggregator of information and provide the information at the place where you need it. 
And this is what a service technician needs. I need to get from diagnostic, from uh, tools, from telemaintenance or telediagnostic uh, stuff, and I aggregate this. He, as a service technician, needs to get this information as condensed as possible at the place when needed and just the information he needs, nothing more. Execute on-demand training. So with AR, most likely you will see that service information and training will merge together. Why do I have two different things when I can do an on-demand training? I see the vehicle in front of me, and now I see training information for that vehicle or repair information or diagnostic. I can explain how certain components work in the car. I can explain how a, 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 a transmission gets repaired, at, and before I tell him on-demand, how is the basic function of it. So I can really increase this, and I can visualize really complex information. And, and one of the things is error propagation in a vehicle. Most technicians don't understand how an error propagates from one part of a car to another. And suddenly I have a technology to make this easy for them, understanding and then coming to a conclusion why certain things are this or that way. So in, in summary, AR makes the technician more efficient by improving information delivery. And all of our studies, everything that we're doing confirms this. So this is not a um, theoretical approach from engineers. It's tested with service technician and proved. And our journey is to make this real, having in every workshop classes, aggregating all the information. Thank you. And if you have any questions in uh, Slido, please let me know.